In this video, I will quickly show you how to do your modification of name and other NIN details such as your phone number, email or even date of birth without leaving the comfort of your house. All you need is your mobile phone and internet connection. So, if there's any error, any mistake or misarrangement of your name or your NIN detail, or maybe it's your email address, your phone number or date of birth, this method will surely, surely work for you. And if you need me to help you carry out this or any other task like business name registration, fixing your CC queries, getting your TIN or just any other thing, you can reach out to me using the number in the video description. Please, I rarely pick live calls. So you can simply chat me up on WhatsApp and that will work for me. So without wasting any further time, let's go into this tutorial. The first thing you want to do is to go to the video description below this video and tap or click the NIN self-service link I posted there and it will bring you to this page. This is the NIMC official self-service portal and you will also need to know that the best way you can carry out this process is through your phone because you will need to do some face verification which a laptop will not be able to do for you. Now, as you can see here, you can actually modify or correct your NIN details such as your name, phone number, your date of birth and your address. I want to assume that you don't already have an active account on this portal, so you will need to click the register button and peradventure you have an existing account already, then tap the login button and just follow me on the tutorial. Once this form pops up, you want to go ahead and fill it in very appropriately Know that all the fields with the asterisk sign are compulsory while other ones are optional. And once you're done, click the next button. So here, as you can see, your face will need a capturing, so you should get ready for that. Just make sure that where you are is well lit with light. And while attempting to capture your face, make sure that you're looking straight at the camera. If not, it will not be successful. So just click continue once you're ready for this. So, everything here is what I already told you on how to keep your face. Also make sure that you're not looking too serious while attempting your face capture. So go ahead and click next, allow. You don't need to click anything, just follow the directive as you can see and your face will be captured successfully. So you see that my first attempt was rejected. This is because I was actually using my studio lighting setup. So I just moved to a more natural light and then it was accepted. So once the face capture is successful and you are redirected to this page, go ahead and input your email address. Then click the validate email button here and an OTP will be sent to this email address. So it means that your email must be active and very accessible to you because that is where you will need to receive your OTP. So I will quickly check my inbox here is my OTP, I will copy it and come put it in here and then I will tap confirm OTP. Okay, this green mark shows me that it is successful. So here, enter a password you know you won't forget and again repeat the same password, verify. Tick the I agree box and then click the sign up button. Great, account is successfully created now, so click continue. Once again, re-login with the email address and password you used in creating this account a while ago and then tap login. Come here and enter your NIN number. But it might also interest you to quickly read this notice. But what it's saying is that nobody can do this process for you because while you did your first NIN registration, your face was actually captured back then. Hope you remember. So, if that face is different from this face you are using to modify your details now, it will not be accepted. Also, you can only do your NIN modification only twice. Okay, so come here and enter your NIN and tap continue. Once you're sure you entered the right number, click the blue submit button. And as you can see, this is successful, so click go back. Again, re-log in with your login email and password. Once again, you will need to revalidate your face capture again. So this is for security reasons. So I'll just go ahead and do it by tapping the verify face. Okay, this is great. So now that our account setup is successful and we have landed here, you can see 
that there are four different kinds of modifications that you can make here, each of them with different kind of prices. Now, since the title of this video is about change of name, I will go ahead and select that option. The first thing you need to notice here is that apart from bank charges, you will need to pay 1,522 Naira and 5 Kobo in order to carry this process out successfully. So once you know that you get your money ready, just click continue. You can read all these instructions, but most of it is all about letting you know that nobody can do this process for another person and that you can't use another person's phone to carry out this modification. So personally, I do guide using my one-on-one -on -one WhatsApp call, but obviously I cannot personally do this for you. So once you're done reading, just tick the box here and continue. Again, here is another important information that you must know. Number one, you can do the name change as many times as you want, but you can only do it three times on this particular website. After the third attempt, you will need to visit the NIMC Enrollment Center before you can do any more modification. If you keep watching this video, I will tell you the reason why you might end up doing more than three modifications if you didn't get some things right. So, secondly, before you can proceed, you must have a court affidavit showing your new name. You must also have that name correctly placed on any valid government recognized ID card such as your voter's card, driver's license or international passport. Any of them will do. And if you are changing your name because of marriage, most applicable to women of course, then you must also present a valid marriage certificate and newspaper updates to show that you are married. So once you have all of these documents ready, then tap the I understand link. Okay, here again, I will be assuming that you are just about to make a payment for the first time. Some of you might have made payments in time past. In that case, you will need to tap the use existing option, fill in the RRR of the payment you earlier made and then verify your payment. But I assume that most of us here are making this payment for the first time, so click the new payment option. Then, all you need to do is just to follow the payment steps. Obviously, I am not about to make any modifications now, so I won't complete this payment, but it's just a straightforward process. Once you complete your payment, you will be redirected to the page to make your name change. Again, it's very straightforward. The only thing I want to call your attention to is that you must be very careful while typing and imputing your new name. Most times, the autocorrect feature of your Android or iPhone might change your name even after you typed it correctly. It might just correct it and then you may not notice it before you click the save button while changing your name details or even any other details at all. So make sure that you look through and through before you save your name change because just a single letter misspelled will only render this modification invalid, useless and then you would have wasted your money and one of your three modification slots would have already been wasted. But if you're having any challenge or you need any special help or you want to register your business name, you can chat me up using the WhatsApp link in the video description please do know that not all my one-on-one -on -one services are free so if you're looking for a one hundred percent free service all the time please you may not need to chat me up just watch my free videos on YouTube and I believe that they should be sufficient enough to assist you please again no call just chat if we need to talk on phone we will have to arrange that specially thank you for watching this video to the end if I give you value please like this video and share it I know that so many people will want to see a video like this and if you are not subscribed to this channel yet but you love this video and you want to see more helpful content like this one then subscribe to this channel thank you and I'll see you in the next one